Hello, I will be teaching you how to install an image um, for your own personal studies. This is a good reason, a, uh, a good idea. Um, outside of Cyber Patriot, also if you want to do pen testing or if you want to have your own cyber hacking lab or if you just want to mess around and uh, change some settings and don't want to break your computer at home. It's always a good idea not to break your home computer. Trust me, I've done that many times. So I'm using VMware Workstation. You might be using Oracle Box if you're on a Mac, or VMware Fusion if you're on a Mac. Uh, VMware Fusion is a paid software. <coughs> <coughs> Pirate Bay. <laughs> Torrent. Um, or if you're on a Windows PC, I would definitely recommend use VMware Play or don't use Oracle Box if you can. It's, eh. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, so you just go to new virtual machine. Um, this is probably not going to be the exact same, uh, for you. Um, if you're using player, um, it will be pretty darn close, but it won't be the exact same. So go to next, go to browse and then, um, right there. I have mine right there. Um, if you were to do an installer disk, you could just get a ISO mounter, um, install it on your computer, uh, mount the ISO, so make it think that it's a disk, uh, that it's actually a physical drive, and just click on that. I am just going to be installing a Windows 7. So next, so this is when you would put in your product key. <laughs> Get a Windows loader from the Pirate Bay. <laughs> um, again, it might not be the exact same. I'm just going to do Ultimate. Uh, your name, your password if you want. Um, I don't want password. Your name, so I'm going to call this Windows 7. Clean install. Um... Browse. This is somewhat important if you're using multiple hard drives um, or if you just don't like where the default location is. Um, I'm using an SSD, so I have it on one of my extra drives that I have, one of the five. Um, for Windows 7, it says 60 gigs. Don't do store as a single file because then it'll make a 60 gigabyte um, file, I believe it is. If you do splurt, splurt split into multiple uh, files, then it won't actually take up the full 60 uh, gigs. Um, it'd be dynamic, uh, so that's very nice. And then this is where you can customize the hardware. Uh, I would definitely highly recommend to customize hardware. Um, go ahead and give it some extra gigabytes. Um, if you're gonna be installing on only running one, I would say Give it, uh, if you have two gigs, give it, oh, if you have two gigs, then don't run a VM. If you have four gigs, give it two. If you have eight, give it four. Give If you have 16, give it maybe th three. Um, if you have a multi-core processor, give it as many cores as you want. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Automatic. All right. Close. Uh, I'm going to be doing finish now. And then this this is going to take a little while, uh, most likely. Um, while this is doing it, I'm going to pause it. But before then, if it pops up with an error saying um, something about Intel virtualization or something along that lines, then uh, first Google that, make sure exactly what that is. But it is most likely a default setting in your BIOS basic input output when you boot up your computer. It says, please hit delete F12, F10, F1, whatever, whatever it says to boot up in the BIOS. So if that happens, then what you're gonna wanna do is boot up into the BIOS and then most likely under a, uh, it's under going to be under some kind of CPU setting. It's different for everybody, but most likely going to be um, CPU setting. 
Um, it's going to have virtualization, oh God, what was it, VT dash X or something along that line. It's going to say off or disabled, uh, turn it on or enabled. Um, if you aren't an admin on your computer, um, like if it's a school computer or someone else's or something like that, definitely ask them first because turning stuff on and off in the BIOS is something you definitely want to ask the owner before you actually do it. And by default, it's usually off in most computers just because the reason why I have more things on. It's much more secure when you have a lot of things off and only turn on what you need instead of vice versa. So I'm going to pause the video right now, but do look into that if you are getting an error. Don't worry, that's actually very common. All right, so it just finished up. Uh, don't mind this, this is Windows 7 uh, previous version, just getting all the installs. Uh, this is my application freezing. Um, this is it being slow. This is it finally loading. This is it loading again. Uh, in VMware uh, Player, you cannot uh, have more than one image running at the same time. That's a good thing about Workstation. <coughs> Pirate Bay. Um, if you use Oracle uh, or Oracle Box, whatever it's called, I believe it's Oracle Box, you will make the virtual machine settings and then when you finally boot up into it, it will ask you, where is the ISO? Um, I believe you have to mount it uh, to a disk and then install it quote from the disk. That's why I don't like it. Um, that and it's just not as cool. Not as cool as a VMware workstation. So I'm doing easy setup right now. Um, normally it's going to pop up and say, Hey, yo, what's up? And then you're like, install. And then it's going to say, you want to do a, you want to do install here or you want to do custom install? I personally do custom install. Um, then it's going to say, what is it going to say? It's going to give you a list of disks. You just click the should only be one. There should only be one disk right there and it should be the, size of the uh, VMware uh, virtual disk that you set it to. Click that, hit next, maybe a couple other things, something like that. Then it's going to come up like this and then now you wait like another 10 to something minutes and uh, grab a cup of coffee, watch a TV show, hit up the internet, see what Reddit's doing, look at 4chan maybe if you're feeling adventurous and uh, just wait, I'll be back. Alrighty, starting this Windows up. Just finished installing. It should uh, say preparing desktop for first time use. Have a cute little animation. Waste another 30 seconds of my life. And finally boot up into the desktop. Uh, from this point on, um, I would recommend getting uh, the latest updates from Windows updates. And if you don't want to, that's fine. But for Cyber Patriot, if you're doing to replicate Cyber Patriot, definitely get Windows updates because sometimes they might add a couple things. It's, it's pretty much mainly on the back end. Um, but they might change uh, a few things here and there. And for Cyber Patriot, you definitely want to get the latest Windows updates for uh, security purposes and also to get points, hee <laughs> hee. So do get all the updates when it first boots up. And also there is a uh, nice little app uh, website. Let me open up this other Windows tab here. Um, oh joy, froze. Let me show you a great little website to install applications. I would definitely recommend this if anyone uh, does a lot of these uh, these windows, these, uh, what's the word, um, images, um, virtualization of images. Oh, come on, don't tell me it froze. 
So it does its cute little setup. It's froze. That's great. Anyways, it's called Nine Night and I and I misspell it. It's so weird. N I N I T E, Nine Night. Um, it's a great website. You can install just about every application that you'll need to get started up on. So from here, it's just going to boot up into your desktop, and or um, if you set a password, it's going to the login screen is going to pop up and ask you for your password. But that's pretty much it. That's how you set up any image. Um, whether it's any weird Windows server or whether it's Linux, it's all virtually going to be the same exact thing. Um, the one tip I would say is to do change the hardware um, customizability to what you need and uh, or what you have, and that's pretty much the only tip I would give.